All right, so we're gonna do a quick video on how to set up your miner. So once you get your miner, it's gonna actually show up in a box like this. All you gotta do is just go ahead and open it up and get some information in there. Just go ahead and take off this black foam here and your miner, power cord, and antenna are all gonna be in here, everything that you need. So if you notice, the actual miner isn't that big. It's actually not much bigger than the size of your hand. And then again, your power cord's in here, your antenna's in here. And all you gotta do is just take this out. You go ahead and put this down here so that you can see. And all you're gonna do is just go, gonna go ahead and screw this in like that. There's only one of these gold connectors right here. And so all you're gonna do is just screw that in like that. You can see that's all it is and then once you have that once you have that you're just gonna go ahead and twist this to where you can have the antenna facing up that way and you're all set let me go ahead and put this aside here and then you're gonna go ahead and take out your power cord Your power cord is pretty easy. As you notice, there's no on and off switch anywhere on this thing. You got some ether, uh, an ethernet port here. You got some USBs, which I've never used. Not even sure what they are. They're probably for programming the miners, but these are already programmed to your address. And all you gotta do here is literally just, there's only one of these USB connectors on the actual miner. All you're gonna do is just go ahead and plug that in right in there. And that's all you gotta do. So in this box, you're actually receiving the miner, the antenna, and your power connector. And that's all you gotta do as far as this. Now, if, and again, once you've done this, then you're all set. Again, you just wanna try to place it as close to the window as possible. Um, the ethernet cable does not come with the router, but again, anybody that's getting one from, for me, you will go ahead and receive, I think it's a six foot cable. If you need anything longer, um, just go ahead and look it up on Amazon. Again, they're not that expensive and they're just ethernet cables. So now that you've gone this far, let me go ahead and show you on the app what it's gonna look like to finally connect this to your internet there at your home. So let's go to the Let's go to the Helium app, open it up, authenticate, it says it needs uh, location enabled, also it needs Bluetooth, so I'll turn on the Bluetooth, so now it says set up hotspot, so click on that, so mine is, mine is rack hotspot, so I'll click on that, some instruction on where to place it. I have read the guide and I understand. Okay, it needs CDM needs location permission. I'll enable that. Plug in the provided power adapter into the outlet. Uh, miner will show a red LED light once it's powered on. So it's on. So I'll click on I am powered up. Now scan for my hotspot. I'll say that it might take about a minute to completely okay detect it. So EDM hotspot connecting to EDM hotspot C575. So it needs um, Wi-Fi connection or LAN connection. So I will just connect to Five gigahertz uh, connection. So enter the password. I hope I remember it. Now it's trying to connect to the network. Okay, looks like it's connected and now says this hotspot already has an owner. So that's true because it belongs to Noble IoT. Uh, if you are a hotspot updating Wi-Fi, you may exit the setup. So I guess I have to just simply exit. 
Okay, so I hope um, I once I set it up, I'll place it near a window, and uh, then I should be able to start earning after this is synced up with the network.